hello welcome to this channel if you are new here please like subscribe and share this video so in today's tutorial we are going to learn about how to convert an excel data into a rest api so this is what we are going to get at the end of the video oh, so we have an excel data in this format and we are going to convert this excel sheet into something like this so with this format we can add more data to our excel data programmatically so as you can see we have four records in this um, json response and it's the same as what we have over here so if i should add one record say five then give it a name called tests then send name demo and let me make it a female age 34. then if i should hit this endpoint it should return what I have here so as you can see I have this record here as well I can also add a record from the API level so I'm going to add one record to this table so I'm going to copy this record and hit a post endpoint to add a new record to the API so I'm going to choose raw then and this i will choose yes then i'm going to paste this i'll choose an id of six um, add isaac as okay let me use opening as the first name tag as the second name then mail as the gender I'm going to choose to as the age so if I send click on send it's supposed to return a status so as you can see it's returned a status code of 200 which means that um, the data has been added to the Excel data so if I should go back to the get so if, you, if I should make a get request to that same endpoint I should be able to see this data as part of the record so as you can see i have this data as part of the record so now let's verify on the on the excel data whether the, whether the data has been added so as you can see we have six here opening tag mail then two as the as the age so this will be building at the end of this tutorial so stay tuned and don't forget to like subscribe and share all right so all you need for this tutorial is a google account and an api client so in this video i'll be using postman to test the apis that i'll be creating so without wasting time let's get into the video so i'm going to create an excel file using google sheets so i will head over to this side click on sheets then i'll create a new excel the excel file called api demo api dash demo then i will add four columns an id first name last name um, I'm going to add level then age so that's what I have so the ID of the user first name last name level then age so I'm going to insert one record to start with so I'll have the first name to be opening last name to then I'll make it 
a fresh man fresh man age i'm going to type two so so i have this excel sheet populated with one record okay so to generate the api we need to go to sheets dot best sheets dot best this way this is a platform you are going to use to convert our excel sheet into a CRUD api so to get started we need to click on start free then we click on connection so over here i'm going to give an, our api name i'm going to choose api demo as our api name we are using Google Spreadsheet as our connection. Then the connection URL. So the connection URL is the URL for our Google Sheet. So let's get a link from our Google Sheet and add it to this page. So to get a link, you click on this share button over here. Then you make sure the link is anyone make sure the permission is set to editor anyone with the link can edit so with this permission the sheet.best server will be able to create update and delete file on our behalf so i'm going to click on copy link and click on done to close this box so i'll head over to sheet.best and add our connection then I'll click on connect to connect our sheet.best to our Google CRUD API. That is all that we need to do over here. So as you can see, the connection has been established to our Google Sheets. So if you click on details, you'll get more info on the API demo. So as you can see over here, we have our connection URL, which is also known as, known as the endpoint. We have our origin, origin URL, uh, statistics is showing a last request, never. We've not made any request to uh, the API yet. Total request, zero. So we'll be making API requests to this um, endpoint. So to test that this thing is working, we can copy this endpoint, open a, a new tab on the browser, and paste the link here. So if you do this, by default, the browser serves a GET. The browser is uh, it's a GET request. You can use the browser to request for data using an API. So if you hit an endpoint, you should be able to get the data in an X, uh, JSON format. So as you can see, we are receiving the data in an a JSON format. I'm going to use Postman for the testing so that you see the nicely formatted JSON output in Postman. So I'll head over to Postman, delete this one, don't save. Then I'm going to create a new request. So I'm going to paste the, the endpoint that I copied from sheet.best um, connection um, dashboard then i'll click on send so as soon as i click on send i should be able to get this data in a json format so i'm going to close this one head over to postman and as you can see i'm sending a get request so if i click on send request sending yes so status code is zero two hundred and as you can see, I have ID of one, first name, last name, level, age over here, which is the same as what we have in our Excel data. Now I'm going to add another content over here. Um,
So I'm going to add this one and hit the same endpoint and see if this record will be added to the API response. So let's see. So with the same endpoint, I'm going to send a GET request to the same endpoint. So if I click on send, I should be able to see the new data that I added in the browser. So I click on send again. Now I have this data over here. Now, um, I want to add a new data from the API level to this side. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to send a post request because we are going to create a resource. So every post request must go with a body. So I'm going to send a new data to the request. And as you can see, we need an ID, we need first name, we need last name, level and age. So I'm going to copy, I'm going to type this one over here. I have an ID. I'm going to make it three. Then I will need a first name. First name column. I'm going to add John. Last name column. I'm going to add do then maybe mistake then um I have a level column level column i'm going to add senior then the age column i'm going to add 28 so I'm sending a post request to this URL endpoint. Remember, we got this one from the sheet.best dashboard. And I'm sending a post request with this body. So if I click on send, I should be able to see this data on the Excel sheet. So let's see, I click on send. So now our data has been created. As you can see, we have a status code of 200, which is showing that, which tells us that the data has been created successfully. So if we if you go to our browser, we should see the data that we created over here. So we have John Doe Senior, then 38, it, which is exactly the data that we added from the API. Let's add another data. So I'm going to modify this one to four. I'm going to change this one to James, change this one to Smith, change this one to Junior Age. I'm going to change it to 14. So I'm going to hit send again. Remember, we are sending a post request. So data created. Let's see our browser. So as you can see, we have James Smith. James Smith has been added to our Excel sheet. So um, the next thing we are going to do is to hit the get request on this same endpoint and see if we will get all these data in the JSON re response. So we are hitting, I've changed the HTTP verb to a get request. On the same endpoint, I'm clicking on send. So as you can see, we have all this data in the get request. So we have four records, which is the same as what we have here. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is to update a resource. So to update a resource, we are going to use the put HTTP verb. So the put ATP verb allows us to update a resource. And with the endpoint, we need to pass the ID of the resource that we are updating. So we need to specify which ID or which item we are updating. So I would like to update the first item, which, is, which has an ID of one. 
So this is the first item. It has this record. So I'm going to maintain the first name, the last name. I'm going to change the level to freshman year. So if I should hit send, I should see the record updated. So click on send. Now the record has been updated. Let's check our Google Sheet and see if the record has been updated. So as you can see, we have freshman year, which means our record has been updated. So we are, the next thing we need to do is to delete a resource. So to delete a resource, we choose the delete endpoint. And again, you specify which attributes or which property you want to delete. And mind you, with delete, you don't need a data. You don't need a data. So I'm going to turn off the data mode, set it to none, then send a request to the endpoint. So status quo 200, which means the data has been deleted. So I go to the browser. There is nothing like the data, as you can see, the data has been deleted. So this, so we've been able to create a resource, update a resource, and delete an and delete a resource with sheets.base rest api so let me hit the get endpoint again and see if we'll, the record will be updated so let me clear this one off click consent the endpoint is wrong so click consent again now i have three records here record one record three, then record four, which is the same as what we have over here. So that is all for this video. Um, we've been able to <coughs> convert our Excel sheet into a full CRUD API.